welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a little bit different. It is going to be kind of a my makeup collection and how I'm going to store my makeup. My makeup is out of control. It is all over the house. It's in the living room, it's in our bathroom, it's in our closet, it's in the desk right behind me, and I need to gather it all together and fix it because it's actually my birthday today. It's June 11th and my husband got me the Alex drawer system as my present. I've been wanting these. So I'm gonna quit rambling and let's just go ahead and jump into it. I'm gonna show you guys my makeup first and then we're gonna move into the organization process. And super quick, I did forget to mention, this is a disclaimer, this is not meant to be braggy. I love watching makeup decluttering videos and makeup storage, makeup collections. I think those types of videos are so fun and I get stuck watching them on YouTube. So I just thought this would be a really cool video that you guys would be able to enjoy, hopefully. So yeah, that out the way, let's jump into the makeup. Okay, you guys, this is my current situation. I pulled out my drawer from my desk and this is everything that's in here. I am so sorry if you have OCD and you are seeing this and you want to just cringe, but that is the drawer. Everything is just kind of scattered. And then on top here, I have a few different organizers I've had in random places, a bunch of different containers. I mean, like I said, I was storing this all over the house. so. Yeah, it's kind of a lot, a lot to take in. So let's transform this into the other organizers. So here we have it, the new organizers. They are the Alex Five Door System in light gray. Felt like they would just look so nice where I have them. Let's go ahead and start filling it up. So what I'm going to do is start with the lower drawers and work my way through my palettes. And what my plan is to do the high-end palettes in this one and drugstore in the one right above. So let's start with the high-end palettes first. I'm going to just mention some names of the brands, but I'm not really going to go into specifics which palettes or which products as I continue along, just because otherwise we are gonna be here for like a full hour. So let's get started with some Murphy. And then we have some ColourPop and we have some Pure. I don't know about you guys, but I actually consider ColourPop not to be drugstore. They are very affordable, but you can't get them at the drugstore, so that's why. Winky looks. Naked the bright lights palette. Great palette. My new Kat Von D. I'm gonna stack her there. My single shadow palette. Earth K. Super old Kat Von D palette. All of my mini coffins. Those in there. Bobby Brown. Then I also have all my toothpaste. Let me... Oh no, it's already putting eyeshadow in there. So much better. All organized right in this drawer. I thought I'd go ahead and switch up the way you could see it. So starting with the second drawer, which is going to be drugstore palettes. My BH and a super affordable one that I got a million years ago that needs to be probably gone. Makeup Revolution. My Depotted Makeup Revolution palette. Mixed Metals. NYX. Mornix, probably put that right here. Mornix, Wet n Wild, Cover Girl, Wet n Wild, Lonnie, and One Elf. 
second drawer down. It looks so good in there and I actually have so much room in both of these drawers. Then third, we're gonna do some single shadows. I don't have that many, but since I did the palettes at the bottom, I just can't have them separated. I didn't even realize I have a four little palette and a three. I'm gonna put these in the drugstore. Some L'Oreal, my Lorac, some Jessie's Girl, Urban Decay, Sephora. Oh man, and I have another tiny little three palette. And a three palette as well. I'm gonna keep them up here. They're just so small, they're gonna get lost in there. My MAC Pigment. My Korean shadow, this is by Color Tattoo, which is Maybelline. I have two of those. I also have a MAC one as well. MAC shadow, Nomad. Oops. Nomad, why are you running away? My Makeup Geek, this thing is gorgeous. This is an Afterglow. And then I have an eyeshadow stick by Tristique. An elf one. I know I'm missing one of those. There's a gold one somewhere. Stila Cover FX. I have another version of this Cover FX unused and I'm debating plopping it in a giveaway. Might be really cool. This is the one that I have that's open. Super pretty. But I have a fresh one that's in here, untouched, unused. Third drawer down. So much room. I love it. And I'm finally going to be able to not lose things like the other e.l.f. liquid shadow. Then moving on to the second drawer from the top. This is going to be my primer drawer. It's going to be a mix of face products like my sunscreen and some strobing ones, my tantalizer. And then I have my eye primers, my Urban Decay, Urban Decay. Can you guys tell I love Urban Decay? Cat Von D, Ulta, NYX, and a new Milani. So exciting, so much room. Then we have the last drawer in the first organizer. So this drawer is gonna be a little bit of a mix. It's gonna be some mascaras, and it's gonna be some liner, a little bit of brow product. My lashes up front, probably, actually. And then I'm gonna take in all my liners. I have a bunch of different ones. I don't know why I have so many pencil ones. I barely use them. And then on to the liquid liners. And then lastly, brow products. I, for a while, stockpiled these Ulta ones because I love them before I started YouTube. And then after I started YouTube, I realized how they really weren't that great. <laughs> and now I just have a ton of them. Tattoo Brow. Brow Gal. NYX. My favorite, favorite Maybelline. And the NYX Tank Thing. Oh, and one brow powder. And lastly, almost forgot about that one, an e.l.f. And then I found two primers that were stuck in the little container I had those with. So I pop that in there. But there is the last drawer of this organizer. All my liners, my mascaras, my lashes, my brow products, beautifully put away. I will need those little containers to divide them very soon, but this is going to work perfectly for now. Okay, second organizer. Let's get started on the top. My camera is already here, so let's do it. 
This is gonna be my highlight slash blush drawer. And I have some great little palettes that wanna go in here. Some powder, some cream, and some are mixed with blush, so I thought it was just kind of perfect. And of course some singles. This is all highlighter so far. Wet n Wild. Another highlighting palette. Stack that in there. Stack in there. Another Wet n Wild. Some liquid. Then the blushes. I have quite a few Wet n Wild, some Maybelline, Sleep Blush, and last but not least, some stick blushes. Now, this is one glowing drawer. And the second drawer down is going to be my highlight and contour, bronzers, and some concealers. Starting with my kind of large collection of concealers. And then working my way into my bronzers. Then the contour, these are the cream ones. Oh, one more missing bronzer. Highlighting stick. My, oh shoot, I didn't even realize this is one eyeshadow palette. One is the contour. That's the contour and that's the eyeshadow. I need to go back to the other drawer, put that in there. Contour, contour. And this, this is a completely unopened contour palette by Pure. I just never decided to use it. I'm probably going to save this for a giveaway as well. That's back in the packaging. It smells delicious. So I'm going to put that there, but I'm probably going to leave that unused. Just three drawers left now. We're moving into the fun ones. This is going to be my lipstick drawer. And where I'm going to start is actually putting this large acrylic organizer that I had gotten in my most recent TJ Maxx and Marshalls haul. Fill that in there. I'm thinking I'm going to fill this entire drawer with acrylic containers like that to make it just easier. That way it also just looks very nice and neat and organized. Because once I run out, I'm gonna have to just start smashing everything in there. I'm gonna put my melt one in there. And I have all these tiny little, what look like bullets. They definitely need to be squeezed in there because otherwise they're just gonna get tossed around. A ton of Wet n Wild, Maybelline, and one Rimmel, and a Rimmel. Now that I'm out of an organizer, it's just going to start stacking. So I have some new e.l.f. products I haven't tried yet. Another one. I have my Lip Palette by ABH Lip Powder. Some Tarte. Bite, more NYX, Elf and Pure. This cool lip powder I just got in um, a lower box. Oh, another lip palette by Koki. With the organizer there, it is not too bad at all. Definitely want to get another one so I can stack the rest up. But pretty good looking drawer. Another exciting drawer. This is going to have all of my liquid lips and it's going to have all of my gloss. So I'm going to do the same thing as I did up top and I'm going to put my acrylic organizer in here. 
But then I don't have any more, so I'm just going to start kind of piling them in. I'm going to go a little bit categorized. These are all my Wit n Wild. All of my Lime Crimes. NYX. As I was just wrapping up the drawer, I realized I forgot one key element. This is a huge set in which I purchased from Immeasurable Difference. I need to get that in there. And this just proves how unorganized my collection was. As I closed this drawer up, I realized I forgot another set. So this is the LA Girl Liquid Lipstick. I had purchased the entire collection, but I mean, I realized there are some huge hits, some huge misses, and I just didn't like all the colors, so I ended up giving away quite a large amount. I really need to do a declutter of these and just the whole drawer in general because this was another set I purchased. This was off Amazon, whoops. And this is the Nobby collection. I bought the entire thing, it was very inexpensive. I was planning to do a video on all of these, but it, it's honestly a very negative review I have on it. I did not have anything positive to say. I debated doing the video just because it was so extremely negative. If you guys want to see that video on these, let me know. If not, in a future declutter, I'm going to be getting rid of all of those. But this here is my overstuffed, completely full drawer of liquid lips. As you can tell, I love liquid lips the most. And finally, the last drawer is going to be foundations, a little bit of setting powder, and some setting spray. I do not have enough of that to fill up an entire drawer, so it's going to be a mix. And what I love about these organizers is I already tested it out and the foundations fit standing up, and you'll still be able to slide it in there. Oh no! Try to... Jump for its life. And then setting the powders. And that is my kind of small little foundation and pressed powders collection. So much room to expand though, if I need to. Then the final touch is just to add some brushes and all of my lip liners that are in this little jar. But here we have it. Everything is organized. It has a home. The next step, of course, is to get the organizers that go inside of it, but I'm thinking I'm going to also get the glass top that they sell at Ikea, transform this into a desk, and get rid of the blue one that I had shown you guys in the beginning. I think this just works out so much better for someone who collects a lot of makeup. But that was it for my makeup collection and organizing. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to hit that like button. Leave me a comment down below what you thought of this video. Subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that little bell button. That way you will be notified every time I post. And I'll see you guys in my next video.